What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I got you a WWE figure pickup truck. So in today's video guys, I got you a WWE fig hack sort of right here. What I have right here is a uh, pickup truck from the Lori toy brand, I guess. It's like a brand of dolls, I believe, that sells at Target. I don't know if it's exclusive. I only, I've only seen, of it, seen them at Target. I've, I've never seen them at Toys R Us, Walmart, or anything like that. So I'm thinking they're only to Target, you know, Target exclusive, like NXT and Hall of Fame elites like WWE. But I've been wanting to pick up this truck for a little bit. You know, I saw it the other day, and I was like, you know what, bro? Those may be in scale. I mean, they look great. It's got the lights up here and everything. We're going to take a detailed look at it. But I figured, is it in scale with WWE? figures and by god it looks like it's in scale with wwe figures right here guys i picked it up you know it's in the mdt pink i could definitely you know see what we can do i'm gonna try a few things out with it we're gonna see how it goes but um i think i'm gonna put john cena right here in the driver's seat see how that looks we're gonna load up the back right here with some weapons maybe some other superstars and uh see if maybe braun Strowman can tip this thing over so uh let's go ahead and get into it so this beautiful pink vehicle comes in at about 13 inches long and about six and a half inches wide the wheels are about three inches tall and three inches wide as well. This vehicle pretty much resembles a Cadillac Escalade EXT if you've ever seen one of those. You got the floodlights across the top, silver bracket bars in the back. The doors are working and they do have a little hinge right here so they open all the way and they close. You got some nice side mirror action going on. You got pink steering wheel, all these little stickers right here for the GPS system and the little uh, fuel gauges and stuff like that. There is a little trailer hitch stick at the bottom here. There's actually a separate piece that you can buy to equip to this truck so you can pull all your Lori dolls around or your WWE action figures. We'll have to see if I can pick that up as well so that we can get that in here and do a review of or something if you guys want to see it. The base color of the truck is pink and then of course you have your white accents going along the bottom. The rims are also the same colors as the truck and the trim. You have a white and pink color on the wheels. It does have a solid windshield. No back window in this thing. You get some details on the inside paneling of the doors. The tailgate door is in fact working like the other doors. You can open and close it. It has a working gear shift that can go backwards, middle, and forwards. It has two buttons on the radio, which you can actually press, and they are working. I believe this thing actually works as a real radio, and you can turn the volume up and down with these different buttons. Apparently, my batteries are crappy. They have batteries in there, but they do not work for some reason. The headlights and taillights also do come on, but again, these batteries are shite. I don't know why they don't work, but that is my luck. Here's a shot of the truck from the bottom, and I believe that is every detail of this truck. All right, guys, so let's now see if John Cena can indeed fit in this truck nicely. I think the scale is nice, you know, compared to the size of this pickup truck, I think. You know, John Cena scales pretty well. You can see here he comes up about over the hood. Um, if anything, it may be a tad bit too big, maybe in overall size, but uh, we're going to see if he can fit in here. Um, I think I tried it a little bit beforehand, and he wouldn't be able to bend his legs up in there, but we're going to try a different way and see if he can get up in there. It's probably not going to be the best fit ever, but uh, it does look like he will fit in there, but you do see like uh, his, his butt's not even touching the seat, and uh, his feet are obviously pressed into the floor there. But if you shut the door and you, you know, kind of slid him down in there, you know, it kind of, yeah, it, it'll, it'll work. You know, it'll pass as him driving, as you can see here. So yeah, he, he can definitely drive here. Um, I don't know if Braun Strowman could fit in there. We can take a, lot, a look at that. Here's Braun Strowman compared to the truck. Maybe we can just buy a bunch of these uh, trucks and have like a parking lot bra. But uh, let's see if Braun Strowman can fit here in the side panel. Um, I would guess that he wouldn't be able to. You know, I feel like only average sized figures or smaller guys being able to fit in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see Braun Strowman getting up in here, but uh, that doesn't mean he can't ride in the back. You know, this truck doesn't discriminate in the back, so uh, he could get back here and ride the top, you know. Um, we could have, like, uh, what was that freaking, what was that game called on PlayStation 2 or GameCube? It was like Rush Hour or something, WWE Rush Hour. So you could have that, you know, you could have, like, a gang of guys riding in the, in the back here. Um, I also want to check the storage in the back and see if we can get some weapons back there. So if we let the tailgate down right there, 
I'm gonna try and see if I can stick some of these tables and stuff back here. Maybe we can get it like that and like that. Got two tables back there. I believe that will shut. So you can fit like two tables back there. You could even add some chairs, I'm sure. Um, so that's pretty freaking sick. I like that. That's pretty cool. You know, you can store some weapons back there. I don't really know what you could do with it, but you know, you could get some, you use your imagination. You could have some sick little parking lot brawls or have somebody bring out these weapons to the ring for a hardcore match. That's pretty freaking sweet. I, I like this, man. I like to have this in the collection. Maybe I can customize it, take it apart, paint it up, put some MDT logos on it or something. Or maybe somebody in the pick fed, you know, maybe they'll come out in it. Who knows? But that's pretty freaking sweet, guys. This also is a great point, to something to point out to you guys. This thing is only $24.99, so go to your Target. Check it out, man. If you think that you would like to pick this up, definitely go check it out. You may look a bit weird, you know, buying a girl's truck, but I don't care. No shame. F it. Just go in there, buy this truck, and uh, you'll have a sick little vehicle for your WWE figures. Um, there's also a few other vehicles I want to check out from them. I think they have a convertible car that I think I want to grab. They also have a jet plane that I th I'm thinking about getting as well to see, have, you know, my Trey White figure from MDT in the suit, you know, get off the jet plane for MDT wrestling and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, guys, loving this truck, and I think you should definitely pick one up. If you found it interesting, definitely go grab one. Again, $24.99 at Target. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.